Royal Rife worked in the higher frequency ranges, all the way up to 22.5 MHz. He never found anything above 18 MHz, so this is where the Generator X scan stops. Results from the Generator X scan are shown to be higher than the ranges we've been working with. So this begs the question, are the pathogenic MORs actually higher than what we have been working with all this time? One spooky user had sciatica and was gone in 12 hours after providing results for one biofeedback scan. Most of the frequencies from the scan were in the high 11 MHz range. The same user didn't get results using the low frequencies from the spooky main database. They did scans on three other individuals and the HIP frequencies were mostly above 1 MHz. These people got results faster using these high frequencies than the lower database frequencies. It's time we get back to the origins of Rife. He showed us to re-validate everything we are doing. We need to stop being locked into the modality of using just lower frequencies which were the result of less capable equipment or being modulation to carrier frequencies. Holder Clark uses synchrometer and so her frequencies have proven their worth, but even her equipment had limitations. Her frequency range only reached 1 MHz. Frequencies from 1 to 20,000 Hz are in the range of sound which we can hear. We hear noise all day. If these frequencies could truly devitalise pathogens, they would be dying in droves from ambient noise. Just scream, ah, and your kitchen counter becomes disinfected. Lower frequencies do have value as entrainment frequencies, and in this manner they can guide the body or trigger the body to do some healing or killing of its own. But lower frequencies do not devitalise bugs on their own. Spooky pulse-based scans are limited by speed, so we could not scan every frequency in the expanded Rife range. So we are limited to short scans, which are only part of the larger picture. With Generator X, we can now have the ability to really ask the body what frequencies it needs. We still can't put a name to it, but we are one step closer. Use of the scan results in a treatment regime should improve one's health as the body has already indicated that there was a reaction.